Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to answer some of the top questions about selling your home in the winter. Whether you've just started to think about it or you're already in the process, these tips will make things run a little smoother, so stay tuned. Uh, there's no denying the housing market is under undergoing a shift this season and that may leave you with some questions about whether it still makes sense to sell your house. Here are some of the top three questions you may be asking and the data that helps answer them so we can help you make a confident decision. Um, number one is, should I wait to sell? Even though the supply of homes has increased in 22, inventory is still low overall. That means it's still a seller's market. Using data from the National Association of Realtors, NAR, it shows just how far we are from flipping to a buyer's market. While, buy while buyers have regained some negotiation power as inventory has grown, you haven't missed your window to sell. Your house could still stand out since inventory is low, especially if you list now while other sellers hold off until after the holiday rush and the start of the new year. So number two, are buyers still out there? Actually, yeah, there's a lot of buyers out there. If you're thinking of selling your house but are hesitant because you're worried buyer demand has disappeared in the face of the higher mortgage rates, now is not the case, that is not the case for everyone. While demand has eased this year, millennials are still the buying force, and Forbes explains that a little bit more. At about 80 million uh, strong, uh, millennials currently make up the biggest share of home buyers, for about 43%, in the U.S., according to a National Association of Realtors report. Simply due to their numbers and eagerness to become homeowners, this cohort is quite literally shaping the next frontier of the home buying process, which once known as the, the rent generation, which is my generation. Millennials have proven to be savvy buyers who are quite nimble in their quest to own real estate. In fact, I don't think it's a stretch to say they are the key to the overall health and stability of the current housing market. While the millennial generation has been dubbed the renter generation, that namesake may not be appropriate anymore. Millennials, the largest generation, are actually a significant driving force for buyer demand in the housing market today. So if you're wondering if buyers are still out there, know that there are still people who are searching for a home to buy today. And your house may be exactly what they're looking for. So number three, can I afford to buy my next home? If current market conditions have you worried about how, you're, how you will afford your next move, consider this. You may have more equity in your current home than you realize. Homeowners have gained significant equity over the past few years, and that equity can make a big difference in the affordability equation, especially with mortgage, mortgage rates higher now than they were last year. According to Mark Fleming, Chief Economist at First American. Homeowners in aggregate have historically high levels of home equity. For some of those equity-rich homeowners, that means moving and taking on a higher mortgage rate isn't a huge deal, especially if they are moving to a more affordable city, like St. Louis, or Missouri as a whole. Bottom line, if you're thinking about selling your house this season, let's connect so you have the expert insights you need to make the best possible move today. Again, this is Wilhelmina with Worth Clark Realty. Reach out if you have any questions or leave a comment. Have a great day, guys.